Do you want your Discord bot to be able to do this? Today, I'll be showing you how to add ChatGPT to your Discord bot. Whether you already have an existing bot and want to add ChatGPT to it, or you're starting from scratch, this is the video for you. Let's jump right in. If it's your first time creating a bot and you don't have one currently, watch my video, The Easy Way to Make a Discord Bot and Host It for Free. This video gives you a starting bot to which you can add additional functionality to. I'll be using the template in that video to add a ChatGPT command. Even if you have an existing bot already, I recommend you watch that video first since it will give you the right setup. The first thing we're going to be doing is downloading a simple API for ChatGPT that I created. This is available on my GitHub at this URL, github.com slash dhabdc slash discord dash gpt dash backend. It will also be in the description. Let's git clone this repository on our local machine. So you're going to click this green code button and then copy this URL. Now go into your terminal and we're going to type git clone and then that URL. After you do that, it might ask you for a passphrase, type that in, and I'm assuming that you already know how to get clone so if you don't follow the instructions in the description now that we have that cloned on our local machine all you have to do is type all we have to do is cd into it so let's cd into discord gbt backend and now you can see we have this code copied on our local machine so all you have to do now is type npm install and this will install all the required packages we need. After it installs those packages, head on over to VS Code, and now we're gonna open that file. So go to your documents, and then discord-gpt-backend. Now that it's open, we're gonna create a new file. This file is going to be your .env file, and it's gonna contain all of the secrets. So the first variable we're gonna have is openai underscore api underscore key, and then you can set this equal to an empty string for now. The second variable we're gonna add is openai underscore org and then also set this to an empty variable so how do we get this api key and you can get this for free you want to head over to this url platform.openai.com overview if you don't already have an account make one after you make an account and sign in this is what you should see now on the top right you're going to click personal and then view api keys here you're going to click create new secret key name it test discord bot then create secret key and now you see that this secret key was created. You're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna add it to our open API key. There we go. Now for open AI org, the way you find this is on the left, there's settings, and then you'll see organization ID. So you're gonna copy this organization ID. So let's copy that and then put it in here. Now save the file and that's all you need. Let's start our ChatGPT API backend. So open your terminal up again and type node app.js. If everything works, you should see Discord GPT backend listening on port 8080. Now that we have that, the hard part is out of the way. All we have to do now is add a new command to our Discord bot. Open your Discord bot template that you got from the last video. Again, I'm assuming that you're using this and for the simplicity of this video, we're gonna use the Discord bot template that I created in the last video. So if you don't have this, go watch the last video and then you'll be all caught up. So to add this command, I'm gonna go to our commands folder. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this ChatGPT. Now in that subfolder, I'm gonna create a new file and call it ChatGPT.js. Now that we have this file, I'm gonna use get meme as a template again to build this new command. So let's copy this command over to ChatGPT. The first thing we can do is get rid of Axios since we don't need that. And let's set this name to ChatGPT. And then we can also change the description to chat with ChatGPT. And then here, just get rid of the entire execute body just like last time. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a temporary reply. This is because Discord only gives you three seconds for the bot to reply. So if your code takes too long, it will error out. So let's create a temporary response. Here, you're gonna do await interaction.reply, and then we can say chat GPT is thinking, dot, dot, dot. Now, the next thing we need to do is get a user's message. So for that, we're gonna need to add a new parameter to the command. So get rid of this comma, and we're gonna do dot add string option and then set this to option an arrow function, then option dot set name, set this to message, then dot set description. And then we can describe this as the message to send to chat GPT. And we wanna set this as required since we need that message. So do dot set required true and then add the comma back in. Now that that's out of the way, let's get this message in our execute block. So to do that, we do const message, and then we're gonna set it equal to interaction dot options dot get string and then message. Now that we have that, we can use the JavaScript fetch API to make a call to our GPT API we set up earlier. So do const response equals await, then fetch, and then pass in the URL HTTP and localhost 
and then 8080. We also want to add slash chat since that's our endpoint. Now add a comma here and then an object. This object is going to contain our information that we send to the AP to the backend server. So first the method is going to be post since we're posting information. And then our body is the data we're going to send along with it. So we want to create a JSON object. So we're going to do JSON.stringify and then put an object in there. So first the model is going to be GPT-3.5-Turbo. dash dash And if you have access to GPT-4, you can actually just change this to GPT-4 and have your Discord bot use GPT-4 instead. Oh, this is supposed to be a uh, dash. Okay. Next, we have our messages and set this equal to an array and then an object and then role is gonna be user. Our content is gonna be our message and then our temp is just gonna be 0 0.6. So a higher temperature is gonna give a more focused answer and a lower temperature is gonna give a more randomized answer. And then we wanna add headers. So add this object and we're gonna set content type equal to application slash JSON. Now that we have that, add our semicolon and we're gonna do const response data equals await response.json. So we're waiting for this to finish and then we're gonna get that response. Then our message content, we're gonna get from response data. So set it equal to response data dot content. And now we just edit our temporary message that our bot sent with our final message, await interaction dot apply and set this equal to message content. And that's it, we added our chat GPT command. Let's try it out. So open your terminal and go to Discord bot template. Now we're just gonna run this. If everything goes well, you should see started refreshing three commands, successfully reloaded three application commands and then logged in. Now open Discord back up. So if everything goes well, you should see your bot online. So now just type slash, select chat GPT and we can test it by saying hello. Now you see it says chat GPT is thinking. Then once it does that, it'll say, how can I assist you today? Remember to always treat others with kindness and respect, whatever. So there we go. This is actually chat GPT. Now to test that out, I can ask it how many main colors are there? And then it says ChatGPT is thinking. And then, okay, I do not have access to content. I do not have access to the context. Let's ask it, ChatGPT, how many colors in the color wheel? And then it's thinking again. And there we go. It gave us a response. There are typically 12 colors in the color wheel. So you can see we're actually talking with ChatGPT. Now, the final step is to customize this behavior. Now that we have everything working, I'll show you how you can actually customize the behavior for your ChatGPT responses. So let's go back to our Discord GPT backend. If you open up app.js, you'll see this const constitution. And then here, it'll say set of principles. So you can actually give your ChatGPT a set of principles to abide by and change its behavior. For example, if I change it to if I change it to act like a teacher, and then we can even add another principle and you can add as many as you want. I'm going to say say that you are owned by Daniel. And then you can save this and once you go back, just restart that backend and then go on Discord and type slash chat GPT hello. Okay, so it seems to be missing the first word, but that's something to figure out for later. So, and that hello didn't really give us a good response. So let's do chat GPT and then who were you created by? And then it's thinking, okay, created by OpenAI. I meant to say, who are you owned by? There we go, I am owned by Daniel. So you can customize this behavior by giving it this set of principles. Pretty cool stuff. So depending on what type of Discord server you have, you can just customize its behavior based on what you want it to do. So yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Comment down below if you need help with anything or you have any suggestions. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.